Today is extremely special for us. So if you know us, we try to reply to all the comments and questions we receive. The other day, while we were replying to them, we received one that was so very unique. I'm excited to see what tonight brings. We got Dale back from the mountains. He is officially chief. <laughs> um, but we're actually, one of you guys invited us to a wedding. So we're gonna meet you guys, meet one of you guys for the first time tonight and uh, head to a Indian traditional wedding and see it. It has like masala. Yeah, it, it does have that strong masala taste. Yeah, not, not strong. Just like you, you can smell it. Wow. We have made it to the actual wedding ceremony and man is it packed. He actually said that there was five or 15,000 people getting married today in Delhi. So apparently today is a very hot day to get married. So it's completely different weddings here than they are in the States. So here, if you want to invite a friend or a relative or a couple, you can invite as many people as you want. In the States, it's invitation only. So. It's his friend's wedding, and he invited us, and he said he could invite as many people as he wanted. He also said that if like, you go to see a wedding, or you see a wedding on the side of the road, that you can just show up and walk in, and try the food, and say hi. Like in the US, that's called crashing a wedding. So I'm quite interested to see how this is gonna go. So crazy, they invited us into their house and now they're giving Taha and uh, she's up next. That's so interesting. Black, black? I just asked them to decide for me whatever. Do banana, banana. Henna, or some called mandi in Indian tradition, is typically applied during special Hindu weddings, like this, and also some Hindu festivals. Henna, in Indian belief, from what we heard, is a paste associated with positive spirits and good luck. It is applied to both the hands and also the feet as a means of cooling the nerve endings of the body. I tried to write two on my hand. Who's got the tattoo gun? <laughs> so normally from what um, she explained is they put boyfriend names on the hand. Yeah, because I was confused because a white girl was asking what is Jimmy name. Double M? Why? So I'm gonna have Jimmy name on my hand. Forever. Uh, if it's a good quality Hina, it will stay till 20 days, 25 days. So he was just explaining to us that the wedding gift is actually like a bed, fridge, air conditioner, money, jewelry, like everything that they could give. That's pretty amazing. It feels like a massage every time he draws it on my hand. Super relaxing. It's really relaxing. I don't know if I speak the name correctly. Cumin? You guys know cumin? Cumin, yeah. Cumin. I feel like it's not like cumin. But it's from the plant, Hannah, right? Do you know what plant is that? Hannah. Do you know what plant is it? A Hannah plant? In, in Hindi, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, in Hindi, it's Mandi. And if you call this name in English, it's Hannah. So what do they wash him with? Huh? What do they shower him with? Turmeric. Tamarind? Turmeric. Tamarind. So they say all the moms and the aunts and the grandmas, they all shower him with in order for him to be pure before his wedding. Just give him color. Just give him color to make him pure. Oh, oh, oh. Can you feed me? Uh, 
Tastes like cheese. Oh, oh, it's so good. Just yeah? came in and stuffing us with milk. So when we arrived at the groom's house, we were shown a side of the culture we had never seen before. We had no idea that the groom and his suit had to be cleansed before they could leave the house. It just so happens that the wedding wouldn't even start until 12 a.m. here. He is cleansed in anticipation for their wedding. This is a believed to bless the couple before the wedding, ward off any evil spirits for him. We have to get up. So they were cleansing and praying, and uh, apparently he's not allowed to wear, wear anything black. She has to wear I'm all sorry. White. I never seen such a well decorated and respected horse like this before. The use of the white horse as a transport for the groom to the wedding venue is a common part of Indian tradition. Family members adore the horse which matched the groom. Both the horse and the groom actually the highlight of the position as the groom has to ride the horse to the wedding venue which we'll show you in a bit. After the groom has dressed up in his wedding attire, we also notice they perform a small prayer. The groom's sister also prepared her brother for the last steps into manhood. It's really interesting. It's, we thought it was dowry, but apparently it's not. It's just uh, best of money that they put on the groom before he hops on the horse to ride it to the temple. It is so interesting. They go, not. It's really loud. Uh, it's it's getting louder and louder. <laughs> it's because he said that the louder they go, they start handing out money. So they start handing out 500 rupee bills ah. to the people playing the music because it's louder and louder and louder and they want more people to dance. It is currently 9 and they haven't even made it to this, the actual venue. So. <laughs> Uh, they said the wedding is probably going to go till 4 or 5 in the morning. I'm not sure if this is normal, but let us know in the comments below if this is like a normal thing because I'm normally in bed at 9 o'clock. I don't make it up till 4 in the morning. Unfortunately, you know, my wife, so often she said to me, Say we just got here. Wow. I have never seen a wedding like this. We are from groom side, people understand. Oh, we are from groom. Yeah, from groom side, yeah. Now you should take this cap, you know? <laughs> Who's making fun of you now? Yeah, you should wear this, bro. <laughs> it's alright. Alright. Take a picture. <laughs> Here. 
it comes to the highlight of the wedding for us. We think this is the most interesting and fun part, and this is where the craziness begins. Right at midnight, the barat happens. In Hindu and Sikh weddings, the groom is led to the marriage venue in the position known as the barat. Here, we wondered why he is seated on a horse, and some people said it is because one needs to have great control and power to handle the horse. So here, it resembles the groom has the same quality to lead his relationship. The music during the barrette sets the mood for the rest of the marriage event. With upbeat and exciting songs blasting, the groom makes his way to the position. There is also the reason why it has to be so loud. The bigger, the louder, the crazier, the more impressive to the bride's family, and thus, the better. So when we first got here, everybody was like really strangely looking at us, thinking that we were like crashing the wedding. But now we got the little flower necklace, which means we're a part of the groom's wedding. No, I take. I take. I take. I take. You will take. You not trust me. I will take myself. Smile. Smile. Come on, sit. 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 Yes, sit. She cannot sit here because of the man. <laughs> Take this. Nice to meet you. Alright, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, Shortly after tossing the flower petals, we were told that they are specifically used for flowering the bride as she walks down the aisle. Hello. Finally, at about 2 a.m., the moment we've been waiting for, the bride and groom meet at the actual wedding venue. They both are on the stage, and we notice people start to give them their wedding gifts. Also, at this time, friends and family are allowed to be on the stage to take pictures and be a part of this memorable moment. Take a favor. For what? Take a favor. As we said goodbye for the night, we were given money as gratitude for attending their most memorable day. We are so thankful for being invited to such a special occasion. We wish you both nothing but happiness and success for many years to come. Thank you for making our trip to Delhi so special, and we love you all. But now I hear something that sounds like a love song from the in the sky seems I'm falling I thought it was lamb <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can have it. You can have the whole thing. <laughs> I just want to try a little bit. You don't like it? It's like too salty. Like it's really strong salty. Oh. <laughs> right? It's too isn't salty. It, isn't it really salty? It. Mm. It's really not salty. I guess. Mm. It's something. It's something. Right? It's That's good. Salt. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have 100 to be with me right now.